Welcome to the Badass Direct Sales Mastery Podcast with your direct sales dom, Jenny Bellinger. Badass Direct Sales Mastery is a podcast for rock star direct sales moms who are determined to make their business kick ass. Jenny will share her knowledge of effective sales and recruiting techniques, tips to get what you want from your business, and will interview direct sales professionals and leaders from various companies. The interviews will give insight to how these rock stars got to where they are and where they plan to grow in the future. And now, the direct sales dom, Jenny Bellinger. Welcome back to another episode of Badass Direct Sales Mastery. I'm your host, your direct sales dom, Jenny Bellinger, helping you whip your business into shape. I have back with me for the very first time ever in the history of this podcast, we have a returning guest. I have brought back Carrie Rippey for a few different reasons. Number one, she is one of my very, very good friends. Um, And if you listen to our previous episode, you heard all of that in, in our discussion. So we have great discussions. She's had a change, a life change in business, and it has really propelled her to a level of success that has been really exciting and fun to watch through my eyes and reconnecting with her through this success has been fantastic. And so through a conversation that she and I had offline a few weeks ago, I was like, we got to have you back on to share this with the audience so that they can, they can go through, you know, follow your journey. So for those of you who don't know and didn't listen to Carrie Rippey's previous episode, Carrie Rippey has been in direct sales uh, for about 10 years now. She's been with a few different companies. She's on third company. Is that correct now? Yes. Yep. Mm-hmm. So three three companies. And through that, she has been in leadership positions. She has, she has found successes. She's uh, encountered some struggles. But with her new current company, she is experiencing a lot, of, a lot of personal successes with that. So Carrie, welcome back to the podcast. Ah, thank you. Thank you so much for having me. I'm so excited. Awesome. Such a fun treat. Oh, absolutely. Well, and I love talking with you because you and I can go deep on on some of these um, concepts within direct sales. And because we have the relationship, we can really go back and forth with this stuff, which is, I think, a lot of fun for the listeners to get to hear. So first of all, let's talk about you've been with a few different companies. There have been transitions between each of them for various reasons. So you've now transitioned to a well... a you're still within the wellness space, but you're with an, a new wellness company and you mm-hmm. are free to say the name if you'd like to. Yeah. But what what precipitated this transition? Well, the, the honest truth is in the previous business, I just never felt like it was a great fit for me. Mm. Like It just never seemed to click. And I went through this huge personal struggle about why isn't this working for me? Mm -hmm. I feel like I have the skills. I feel like I have the consistency. I feel like I have all the things. Just why isn't it taking off? And the truth was there came a day where I actually saw how much money I had made in those two years. And I did some math and it wasn't a really great number at the end of that Mm. (laughs) equation. (laughs) And I saw what I was averaging monthly. And the truth was I, because I do this full time Mm -hmm. and I don't have an outside career besides what I do in this direct sales network marketing space. I I'm like, well, okay, well, no wonder I haven't really been able to pay the bills lately. And and my credit (laughs) is not doing well. And, and, you know, my significant other is basically having to support me and I'm not okay with this because Mm. I really do feel like I, I, I can, I could excel well if I had the right fit. And luckily for me, I had someone that I highly respected with the other company who had made a change and I called her up and we talked for about two hours. She told me her story. It was very much uh, like reminiscent of my own story. We had never talked in this way before and we were real, I guess, just very authentic that night. And we mm-hmm. shared our struggles. And when she told me that she went to Melaleuca 
the wellness company, I was a little incredulous because I had been a customer before, but I didn't really ever explore the business opportunity. Mm. And this time, because she's very heart led, she was a very good friend. I trusted her. And because of that, and she was a high level leader with my previous company. So she, I knew she knew exactly what she was doing. And so I decided to take a look at that point and it led me to where I'm at right now. So awesome. And, and I've been watching your journey because you made the switch about six and a half, seven months ago, correct? Mm -hmm. Yeah. In January. Yeah. So we're recording this for those of you who are listening now, we're recording this in July, early July uh, of 2021. And so it's been about seven months, uh, six and a half months since you made the switch. And Mm -hmm. it's been really interesting watching, watching your posts through social media and seeing how quickly you have attained a level of success that is already surpassed what you had encountered in two years with your previous company. Now, I know you had a lot of success with the the first company, right? So mm-hmm. in, in this new, with Melaleuca now, what do you think has really fed into the, the level of success that you're seeing now? Systems. Being mm. able to duplicate. Honestly, they have very well-established systems and our particular team in general, we are the fastest growing team within the company itself. And it's a long established company, 35 years, almost 36 years in business. And, but we use systems and with that, that can be duplicated. Mm. And so um, having something that I can wash, rinse, repeat, you know, and, and just plug people into and, and it be the same for every person and every person have the same opportunity to use these systems and Excel for me, energetically, that was just a beautiful fit because I always felt like in the previous company that I was kind of like on this hamster wheel of hell that I couldn't get (laughs) off because I couldn't, I couldn't duplicate it. And every other day, the, the way we would approach our business would change. Mm. And it was extremely frustrating. And so having something that is just the same day in and day out and that truly rewards the worker, the person who is showing up and is consistent, well, let me tell you, I've got that. Like there, there's no question. Oh, so yeah. being able to take you know, what energy I'm putting out and being able to, you know, have someone, first of all, teach me the strategy to win, teach me the strategy for success, give me actual facts and figures and say, if you do this, it equals this. I've never had mentors sit down with me and actually do a strategy call where they actually taught me, here's your activities. Here's how to plug in. Here's how to use the systems. And if you do this, you should see this or something close to it. And they've been spot on every single time. Mm. So that's, that's the major difference. So it's, it's been so lovely and so peaceful and wonderful. Right. And when you know what to expect, it makes it so much easier to go through and do that. But it also helps, mm-hmm. like like you said, you've got to have someone that you trust to, to say that, right? Because it's one thing if yes. some rando says, oh, if you do this, you'll get this. People go, mm-hmm, right, right. Mm-hmm, sure. <laughs> but when it's somebody who you actually know, like, and trust, respect yes. sharing this yes. information with you, you're you're much more willing to to go out to the edge of the branch, right. To, to take a step out and go and take a little bit of a leap of faith. Yes. Yep. Absolutely. If I hadn't known, you know, my friend Kelly from the other business, I, and I hadn't known how much heart she had and what, a because she mentored me and she had no financial link to me in the other company. And she Mm. was a beautiful mentor. So we had a relationship. So when she told me this information, I was like, well, okay, well, I need to really, I need to dive deep into this because everything she said checked all the boxes that I really didn't know I needed checked until she said it. Right. And when she said it, I went, oh my word. Like, I mean, I'm actually getting chills just talking about it because it was like, 
you know, the whole line, like you had me at hello. Yeah. That was it. <laughs> like right. that was it. Show me the particulars, but you had me at hello because there was just so much to it that was in such a great alignment with what I And that's the thing. I didn't know exactly what I needed. I just knew what I was doing wasn't working. So, you know, I do believe in universal timing. I do believe in God's plan. I believe in all those things. And I feel like this is just, it was very much a part of that. And I finally got to step into a space that I could really soar. Yeah. No. And I, I love that you bring up alignment because I really think that's a huge, important piece because there's got in order for you to have the true passion, enthusiasm for something, you've got to be in alignment with it in 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 all forms. Right. You know, I think that's a a really important piece, which is why people can go through. So, you know, I want to use this example for sure is I'm I'm not sure if you're familiar with Jordan Adler, but he's Mm -hmm. the number one earner for send out cards. Okay. In the history of the company, right? Number one team builder, number one earner. Mm -hmm. Here's what's interesting. Send out cards is his 13th network marketing company. Oh, nice. Okay. So, you know, the first 11, now not to say that they weren't all out of alignment with him, but he wasn't in alignment with the company. Does that make sense? Right. Absolutely. Yes. He wasn't in in alignment with the business model. He wasn't in alignment with the company. He wasn't in alignment with the product necessarily, whatever it may be. I mean, I don't know all 11 companies. I've only listened to part of his book so far and had a couple of conversations (laughs) with him so far to know that. But what's interesting is once he hit alignment Mm -hmm. with a company, and the product and the people and the values and, (laughs) and the process, the systems, (laughs) right. That's, and, and I think that's the important piece. So somebody who's listening right now. So the, the listener who's right now going, man, I, I, I wish I was able to attain in six months, the level of success that, you know, or surpass level of success that I've had in the previous two years, the missing piece may just be the alignment. And then you've got to figure out, okay, so what am I not aligned with? Am I not aligned with the company? Am I not aligned with the people that I'm in the organization with? Am I not aligned Mm -hmm. with the product? Am I not aligned with the process and systems that they've got available? Do they have processes and systems available for me to use, et cetera, et cetera. Mm -hmm. So going through this and learning these processes and systems and, and feeling the alignment in your core and just, you mm-hmm. know, it, it, it sounds very much like when you're dating and they tell you, oh, you'll know when you know. Oh yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And it sounds like I mean, that's what's going on for you with, with the company, you know, when you know, so with all of this, you know, when you know, you're feeling the alignment you're and this is feeding into your success what has been the experience for you with all of this? Amazing. So I did have a tiny, tiny thread of reservation just about making another change in my life. Mm -hmm. If anybody listened to my first podcast, they heard I had major life circumstances that I had to overcome. And I started this other business that was well outside of what the first company was. And And so I thought, oh, Lord, here I go again. Like, I'm going to make another change. (laughs) But I'll be honest, that only lasted for maybe just a couple of hours once I Mm. had really seen all the information and was prepared to make that decision. And so I thought, "Eh, who cares? People change careers all the time. Like, who cares? I mean, we're always looking to step into something better. Or hopefully if you're a dreamer, if you're a visionary, you're always trying to make that next up level. And if that includes changing companies, then that's okay. So don't tell yourself the story that making another change to another company is any kind of anything wrong or a problem. So the experience was when I stepped into it, honestly, the only trouble I had was just making that exit like and telling my former company and my colleagues mm. and my, you know, my upline there and things like that, that, you know, I was making the shift. But once I, you know, took the time to exit gracefully and kindly and 
you know, tell them what I was doing and actually got to work with the new company, which I did within just a matter of a couple of days of making the decision, I got right into action and it felt so seamless. It felt Mm. so peaceful. It's, it was just, I don't know. I went from a lot of drama and turmoil and the what ifs and the how comes and all the questions that surrounded that other business opportunity to, oh, like I can take a, just a big deep breath and I can just know that this is, this is working and, and everything they're teaching me and telling me, here's what you should do. And I'm implementing it. And oh my gosh, it's actually working. Like I'm already seeing things like lining up and coming to fruition. And so there is a saying, John Maxwell says, when, you know, belief can actually transcend into knowledge, when you know something so much that your belief will transcend into actual knowledge. And that's exactly the way this feels. Mm. Like I know beyond a shadow of a doubt, this is a perfect fit for me. And, you know, let's be honest, it's laundry soap and toothpaste and wonderful vitamins and things like that. And do I get super excited about toilet bowl cleaner? Well, not really, but let's face it, everybody uses those kinds of things. Mm -hmm. So the product is something that everyone's using in every household. So that's wonderful. It's not a luxury product. I don't actually have to be any kind of product expert. We have a wonderful customer service and product specialist department that will take care of our customers. I don't have to do any coaching. And so for me personally, with my household, because we focus on mental wellness around here, and that is a huge focus of our family, that leaves me free because I'm not doing some of those other things that was very energetically draining. That leaves me free to pour more into my family. And pour more into doing things that that fire me up that just aren't business. I actually can get back to reading books that I want to read just for fun. Um, I started volunteering again, like just doing things like that. It it has allowed me the actual time freedom that you hear people talk about, that you hear, you know, branded as why we do, you know, why we have these self-employment spaces. And so, you know, it's just... I, I, you know, I could go on and on just about how much of a fit it has been for me. So that's so awesome to hear because it, this is something that we all want. And, and, you know, I want to let people know that number one, we're not bashing the previous mm-hmm. company you're with. It wasn't a fit, right? Yeah, not every company is my gig. Exactly. Not every company is everybody's fit. And this is evidenced by the fact that there are people who are very successful with your former Absolutely. company because it it is a fit for them. Them. What yep. we are saying here is the importance of finding what is a fit for you. Mm-hmm. That that alignment piece and and really dialing in on again, like we we talked about before, the your when you are aligned the people, the company, the process, the the product, right? All of those things are in alignment with you. The mm-hmm. experience of the whole thing becomes simple, easy, almost effortless. Like the the motivation, I'm so I've got to ask you then. So the motivation mm-hmm. to work different versus I mean, do you really oh. feel Girlfriend, go for it. Yeah, let me fill you in. So (laughs) the motivation to work before was scarcity. I got. I'm not. I'm not hitting these ranks. I'm not making this money. I'm not paying these bills. I'm not. Like I was afraid. Truth, swear to you, I was afraid to run errands during the day because it was like I'm taking time away from this desk where I've got. I've got so much I have to do. Like. That was the energetic feeling of that. This is, okay, I'll sit down for a couple hours. I'll, you know, hammer out some of my social media content and and uh, I'll sit down and do my reach outs and my follow-ups and, you know, and I'll do my customer care and yeah, oh gosh, those t- yeah, two hours is up. Okay, let's go do something else. Oh, my daughter want to spend some time together. You want to go get coffee? Like, or I'm, and I'm networking again. Mm. I'm getting out of the house while it's safe. Cause let me tell you, like, you know, things are a little bit of a hotbed around here with 
things. But, um, <laughs> right. But, you know, but that th- the doors have opened back up to do more networking and just mm-hmm. meet people and talk to people and get to know people again. I'm out of the house a whole lot more. So it doesn't feel heavy. It doesn't feel hard, mm. you know, because I'm just, I'm like, okay, hey, like I want to touch base with some of my mama friends and I'm passionate about animals. And so I'm talking to my, all my animal people that have tons of pets because this stuff is very safe for our pets, you know, our pets and our children. So I'm just like, Hey, listen, I got this really great, you know, new shopping platform and it's all non-toxic and chemical free. Want to hear more? You know, and if Mm -hmm. they do great, if they don't, that's okay too. Like there's just not the pressure applied to this kind of work. I'm you know, like I said, is it terribly exciting to talk about laundry soap? Nah, not really. But it is exciting to help people find something that is more convenient, more of value to their family, very budget friendly, and be, you know, I can be of service to other people helping them find this. And uh, and then, of course, the other people who, you know, decide that, hey, like, Carrie, tell me about this income. You know, let's, let's mm-hmm. talk a little bit about the income. And then, you know, that leads into a possible business building situation or opportunity. So yeah, it's just, it just doesn't feel heavy. It doesn't feel hard. It's very in the flow as they say. So yeah, Yeah. it's obviously you can hear by the excitement in my voice. It's, it's way different. (laughs) Right. And, you know, and I think that's one of the things that a lot of the people that I talk to struggle with is the motivation piece. Like, how do I get motivated? How do I stay motivated? And I'm like, guys, <laughs> that that is such a deep conversation. Like there, oh, there's no yeah. one answer that's going to work for everybody because it's really an individual conversation on that because motivators are super <laughs> in, Diverse, individual. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And so, you know, but I, I think the, the nutshell version of those things is yes, when you are in a place where you feel like you're part of the team, you're in alignment with everything it's, and yeah, well, so you brought it up a couple of times, the products are not something that are quote unquote exciting, but here's the thing that I want to point out for you. It's not about the product. What's important to you is the outcome and the benefit that people get from using them. Absolutely. And that you're helping people. Mm -hmm. That's what's important for you, right? So when I tell people to be that they've got to have that passion, I'm not saying because, you know, I will tell people all day long because people who who've listened to the podcast know you and I met when we were with Park Lane Jewelry, you Mm -hmm. know, they will tell it. I will tell you at no point did I, was I ever like, oh my God, jewelry is like the end all and be all (laughs) of the world. Like I wasn't passionate about necklaces, earrings, bracelets, rings, and watches. It it, like, it's not that I was passionate about that. What I was passionate about was what the jewelry and wearing it did for women. How it made people feel. Yeah. How it made people feel. Exactly. And so with this, again, it's not about the passion for the product. It's the passion Mm -hmm. for the outcome, the benefits, what people are experiencing as they receive and start using the products. And it's actually, they've made it to where it's actually kind of fun to go shopping. I mean, who's not shopping from their phone these days, right? You know, who's not online shopping. I mean, let's just face it. We came off of, you know, we're coming off a pandemic, but you know, so everybody's on their phone shopping. Everybody's having things delivered to their door, but it's, they've made it fun because they give back to their customers Mm -hmm. with rewards and things like that. So, you know, there's coupons and discounts. And so, you know, it's kind of, for me, it's been fun, not only for myself, but watching my customers kind of explore and discover this new way to shop, you know, for just their household goods, you know, the things that they're normally going to other big box stores and and buying. So yeah, it's just, you know, I love it because all I, the feedback I hear from customers is very positive, you know, oh my gosh, I got this, this great snack, you know, and it was so delicious. I had to put it away because I wanted to eat the whole thing or, (laughs) Oh my gosh, I love the smell of, you know, I hear that a lot about the laundry soap. So yeah, it's just, it's fun stuff. You know, is it 
heavy duty things or, you know, changing the world. Yeah, actually maybe a little because it's environmentally friendly and, and, you know, we're helping the planet, but, but at the same time, yeah, it's just, it's just a good time helping people discover like a new way to get things in their house that are clean and green. So, yeah, and I will say this about the motivation back up just a little bit. Yeah. We have sort of a, a, a team motto that just be a hundred percent committed. So what that might mean is maybe you're a hundred percent committed that day to doing your reach outs and doing the follow-ups and the customer care, but maybe the next day it's being a hundred percent committed to your family. Yeah. Or being a hundred percent committed to your personal development or being a hundred percent committed to what you've said you would do for your community or whatever that looks like. So every day it's being a hundred percent committed. Now, does that mean you're a hundred percent committed to Maluka? No, not necessarily. Because that's yes. your job and we want to do a good job. But let's face it, we do these kinds of things because it does allow us to be with our families, create experiences for our families and ourselves. So I love that. I love that it's like, hey, just be 100% committed, whatever that looks like for you on any given day. Mm-hmm. Amen to that. Oh my gosh, I love that. Exactly. Because so many people, I and I, I know I've said this before on previous episodes, like, balance is bullshit. It doesn't exist. Okay. (laughs) You're never going to have perfect balance, whatever Mm -hmm. that means to you with all things, right? The key is exactly what you just said, Carrie. It's be 100% present, be 100% committed, be 100% all in, in what you're doing right now, be in the moment, you know, because anything that's happened in the past, you have no control over it already happened. Whatever right. is coming in the future, you, it, it hasn't happened yet. You have no control over. All mm-hmm. you have is right now. Yeah. And, right. and that 100% being in when you're working your business, that allows you to then be 100% present with your family when you're with your family because you know you were 100% focused on your business when you were in it. And then, yeah. and vice versa, right? Mm-hmm. You can focus on your business because you know that you were 100% focused on your family. You put your phone away. You weren't go, You weren't answering yes. emails, reading messages, mm-hmm. posting on Facebook or social media, yeah. whatever, right? Yeah. You, you, when you're with your family, you're with your family. Mm-hmm. You're watching the movie, you're interacting, you're eating together. You're not doing mm-hmm. other things. When you can be 100% right. present in each thing that you're doing, that's mm-hmm. how you get balance. Yeah, very much. And I think it's it's just always a work in progress, just like with anything. You mm-hmm. know, we're just always a work in progress. We can always be practicing, refining our skills. And I that's how I feel about balance. Will it ever actually happen? Most likely not. I'll just keep trying. I'll just mm-hmm. keep practicing. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah, oh, it's amazing. I love this. And you know, I think this is a perfect place to wrap up this this episode here. It, it is right on that. So Carrie, yeah. thank you again for being willing to come out and share your experience, share your story with everybody and, and so let everybody continue to follow your journey. So yeah. um, because right now, so because you know we're gonna have another conversation. You know you're gonna come back <laughs> on the podcast again in the future, Yay. right? Um, so we want to put some benchmarks with where you are because you're in alignment with with Melaleuca. This is a great fit for you, and you're currently at what level with the company? I'm what they call a D three or director three. It's okay. typically um, so it's kind of a benchmark um, for sure. most people, like a ninety day type benchmark. And uh, so, and I hit that in what they call pace setter time, which is just, they give you sort of a timeline as to how to hit your advancements. And so I hit that in pace setter time. And, you know, I'm currently working on double promoting, double rank advancing this month. Um, nice. So and helping my next person go to director and, uh, you know, build an income for their family. So, yeah, so that's where I'm at. I've, I'm, I've hit all the milestones so far. And as a high performer overachiever, <laughs> I sure like that. <laughs> exactly. Right. I, I, and yes. Well, I, I just want to put that out there because then the next time we talk, we're going to just fill everybody in, catch everybody up on what, where you are when we talk next time. Yeah, uh, absolutely. Because I, I think it's important that people feel like they're following along on your journey along yeah, with you and, and seeing that. what that Thank is. You. 
thank you all for coming with me. I appreciate that. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, you know, it's, it, you know, podcasts can be just as much quote unquote reality TV, right? Mm-hmm. Where we get attached to a complete stranger story and we want to know, right. right? Yeah. So I hear you. awesome. I'm a reality TV junkie. So I get it. <laughs> Love it. Well, Carrie, again, thank you for being here and sharing your story with everybody. Thank you for having me. I just deeply appreciate you and everything you're doing here in this space for sure. Oh, thank you. Well, guys, you know how this goes. Stay tuned because there is another badass episode on its way. Thanks for listening to the Badass Direct Sales Mastery Podcast with your direct sales dom, Jenny Bellinger. Why are you waiting to go to badassdirectsalesmastery.com? Don't make the dom get her whip. If you enjoyed this episode, make sure to share it with another rock star that you know in direct sales after you subscribe to the podcast so you won't miss any future episodes. You can also check out the show notes for links and any contact information mentioned in today's episode. We'll see you next time.